Howdy y'all, it's TJ Marquis coming at you with a different kind of video. I took a little poll over on Twitter. Ooh, this one's a banger. And the clear winner was Indie Inspiration. So I thought to myself, self, let's call it that. I think it's a good pick. We've got people covering everything under the sun out here, so why not reach out and try to inspire my indie pulp rev and Iron Age peoples in my own little way? Sure, some of the other genres of video might be a little more algo friendly, and I might touch on other things too, but I think this is a great place to start. Feels good, man. So I figured, let's start at the beginning. This is Don't Discount Your Progress, or the hard work you've already put in. Now everyone's mileage and experience will vary, but I'd like to give a quick rundown of my work life as an example and hopefully a little white pill. I'm not yet where I ultimately want to be, and goals should always grow and remain on the horizon, in my opinion. But God has provided far more than I deserve via doing the work my hand finds to do. A more concrete career like plumbing, wood, or metalworking, mechanics, etc. might have been a little more useful, but my path lay a different way. Once I got past the childhood stage of wanting Superman or He-Man to be my grown-up job, one of the first things I landed on was video game design. Another typical pie-in-the-sky kid thing, yet not purely fictitious. That might have worked out in terms of my mental capacity, but my hands are pretty terrible when it comes to dexterous work, so something tells me it wouldn't have panned out. With a serious reading habit came the natural inclination to become an author, and you can surely see the lasting impact that had. But the thing that really set a fire under me as a middle teen was music. Predictable. On a certain night I had been engaging in activities I would never touch now, and after going home, imagined intense and beautiful music that lodged in my heart and engendered a new commitment to the pursuit of music performance. I thought that burgeoning talent, passion, it was still the era of follow your dreams, and vision would be sure to launch a viable career in electronic music. And taking advantage of the formal music education available to me certainly couldn't hurt, could it? Everyone supported the choice of a music degree, though my mother did warn me to acquire a teaching certificate just in case. Put a pin in that one. There were no warnings about debt, viability, or the difficulty of succeeding in the arts. Of course, in that era, that was hardly unexpected. Despite being one of the bigger fish in my region of Texas playing percussion, I got into UT Austin by the skin of my teeth and was immediately forced to confront my delusions. This wasn't a field to study, practice, and leverage for my personal success in the venues and genres I had set my sights on, namely electronica and rock. No, this was a place to compete with my peers for endorsement and entry into a world of traditional performance I had no intention of pursuing a career in. I was essentially forced to switch gears, though it was too late to leave music and I had no clue what I would otherwise choose. Journalism? Ew. Writing department? Only for postgrads. Probably dodged a bullet there anyway. The recording degree option was on the horizon but wouldn't start until after I graduated. So I went for a more general music degree and put my focus in electronic music composition, thinking I might make a go of commercial music. Well, it was fun and I learned a ton, but ultimately didn't seem that useful when I finished. At the time. Here began the period when the passions I pursued on my own time started to gradually accumulate value in the background of my life. And that's the core of my indie inspiration message today. I used the computer lab to learn Pro Tools, Cubase, Sonar, Finale, and even a bit of Photoshop. I recorded some trash quality music of my own on the meager hardware I could afford. I broke through some performance barriers on the drum set playing with my rock and roll friends. I wrote parts of stories. But upon graduation there was nothing ready to receive a man of such diverse talents as myself. Thus, food service. A single commercial music gig on the side that paid me my first desktop PC. Not bad, I suppose. Upon that PC, I did my first bit of coding, unknowingly beginning a prototype of the open world survival genre years before Minecraft and the others were even a thing. If only I'd been a better programmer. Ha! Years passed, and just when it seemed that I would only ever serve my new trad wife with lame jobs, I was approached to teach music, primarily worship band, at a private school due to my involvement in church music and possession of that old sloppy music degree. Well, what do you know? Mom was right. Now I never wanted to be a teacher and I knew it wouldn't last, but a three times pay raise and summers off was not something to sneeze at. The next era began. It was far from perfect, but I always thank God for the provision. It got our little family on its feet. During that post, I organized and led the praise band, coached and built a ragtag instrumental ensemble. Ratios of instrument choice at a private school is weird. I started the drumline and no doubt disrupted many a test period. I built the long-awaited computer lab, taught electronic music composition, game design, and basic web design, introduced many younglings to the wonders of open source software and free video editors, started my Fiverr account writing for extra bucks, and watched demand increase while getting orders for outline stories, lore scripts, and more. Got two game writing contracts, learned Blender 3D basics, and gained confidence in art and design in general. Still working on it, all the while bolstering my own skills in each area. When it was time to move on, I said my farewells, and wife and I prayed hard for an answer to our needs. God didn't exactly make writing clients rain like manna in the desert, but he provided enough to make it work. 
I now write and consult full-time, and guess which skills have come in handy? Audio and video editing, music composition and mixing, light programming and HTML familiarity, planning, logging, time management, juggling multiple projects in different fields, being nice to annoying people, teaching and coaching, visual design in various modes, writing scripts for film, games, and comics. So did my path start in a good place? No, I can assure you it did not. But did God pull good out of it nonetheless? Yes. What are you working on today? A seed that might grow into something bigger or a little piece of apparent waste that will become fertilizer for something else? Let me know what you're up to in the comments. I want a chance to encourage you to keep going. Ecclesiastes 9.10 Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave, whither thou goest.